Subramanian Chandrasekhar was one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century. He did commendable work in astrophysics, physics and applied mathematics. Chandrasekhar was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1983. Subramanian Chandrasekhar was born on October 19, 1910 in Lahore. His father Chandrasekhar Subramanya Ayer was an officer in government service in the Indian Audits and Accounts Department. His mother Sita was a woman of high intellectual attainments. C. V. Raman, the first Indian to get Nobel Prize in Science was the younger brother of Chandrasekhar's father. Till the age of 12, Subramanian Chandrasekhar had his education at home under his parents and private tutors. In 1922, at the age of 12, he attended the Hindu high school. He joined the Madras Presidency College in 1925. Subramanian Chandrasekhar passed his bachelor's degree B.Sc. Honours in Physics in June 1930. In July 1930, he was awarded a Government of India Scholarship for Graduate Studies in Cambridge, England. Subramanian Chandrasekhar completed his PhD degree at Cambridge in the summer of 1933. In October 1933, Chandrasekhar was elected to a prize fellowship at Trinity College for the period 1933 to 1937. In 1936, while on a short visit to Harvard University, Subramanian Chandrasekhar was offered a position as a research associate at the University of Chicago and remained there ever since. In September 1936, Subramanian Chandrasekhar married Lamita Dorai Swami. She was her junior at the Presidency College in Madras. The couple settled in the United States. A year later, Chandra was charged with developing a graduate program in astronomy and astrophysics and with teaching some of the courses at the University of Chicago. His reputation as a teacher soon attracted top students of the observatory graduate school. He also continued researching stellar evolution, stellar structure and the transfer of energy within stars. Chandrasekhar became a United States citizen in 1953. He retired from the University of Chicago in 1980, although he remained on as a post-retirement researcher. In 1983, he published a classic work on the mathematical theory of black holes. His semi-retirement also left him with more time to pursue his hobbies and interests, like literature and music, particularly orchestral, chamber and South Indian. Subramanian Chandrasekhar is best known for his discovery of Chandrasekhar limit. He showed that there is a maximum mass which can be supported against gravity by pressure made up by electrons and atomic nuclei. The value of this limit is about 1.44 times a solar mass. The Chandrasekhar limit plays a crucial role in understanding the stellar evolution. If the mass of a star exceeded this limit, the star would not become a white dwarf. It would continue to collapse under the extreme pressure of gravitational forces. The formulation of Chandrasekhar limit led to the discovery of neutron star and black holes. Depending on the mass, there are three possible final stages of a star. White dwarf, Newton star and black hole. Apart from discovery of Chandrasekhar limit, major work done by Subramanian Chandrasekhar includes Theory of Brownian Motion 1938 to 1943, Theory of Illumination and the Polarization of the Sunlit Sky 1943 to 1950, The Equilibrium and the Stability of Episodial Figures of Equilibrium Partly the collaboration with Norman R. Lebowitz (1961–1968), the general theory of relativity and relativistic astrophysics (1962–1971), and 
The Mathematical Theory of Black Holes, 1974 to 1983. Subramanian Chandrasekhar was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1983. He died on 21st August 1905 at the age of 82. Throughout his life, Chandrasekhar strove to acquire knowledge and understanding. According to an autobiographical essay published with the Nobel Lecture, he was motivated principally by a quest after perspective.